Do you have trouble finding trades? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So whether uh, you're looking for some stocks to sell credit spreads on, or do butterflies, or calendars, or iron condors, or whatever type of option strategy you want, um, you always need to find trades. And there are several different ways that people go about doing so. Um, before I get into the real topic of this video um, and discuss with you the free tool that I'm about to show you, um, which is a website, and it's a, it's an amazing website, and it's free. I don't know how long it's going to stay for free, but I hope it's it's been free for a while, and I hope it stays free for a while because it's really powerful and has a lot of great information. But before we go into that, I wanted to go over my personal philosophy about the how to find trades. Now, when you're doing option selling, I personally believe that you should know the stock or ETF or index that you're going to trade on. So, for example, what I do is I come up with a list, and I have a list of maybe 30 to 50 stocks that I watch on a regular basis, and I see how they react, and I try to follow the news on these stocks, and when the news comes out, I try to see how that affects the price. Um, you know, there are different stocks for different purposes. For example, some of the high-flying stocks that we watch, you know, everybody watches Apple, Baidu, Google, all of these. I like to do credit spreads on those because they offer good premium. They're very liquid. Um, but I want to watch those and see how they're trading and how the prices are, are reacting because um, if you jump from stock to stock every month, you're not going to know how the price is going to react to certain news. So what I like to do is have a list and watch them month after month after month. So that way I know that, hey, if earnings comes out, you know, how much is this stock likely to move? If there's a, a news announcement, Fed makes an announcement, something happens, how much is this stock likely to move, you know? Um, we have all these big news announcements going on. Let's say, you know, Europe is about to default on its debt or some country makes big news that they can't pay their bills or whatever. Well, is this stock going to make a big difference or not? Well, if it's a stock like uh, McDonald's or Johnson & Johnson, then it's not going to move that much. If it's something else more tied to the market with a higher beta, then, yeah, it's going to jump up and down and be up and down every day. Well, depending on what temperament I have and what trade I'm in, I don't want it to be jumping up and down, or maybe I do want it to be jumping up and down. So I need to know which stocks are good for what situations. And I can't know that unless I've been watching it for several months and I know how it's going to react. So for example, if something is going on with a stock and all of a sudden it normally trades you know, less than a dollar a day or two dollars a day max, and then all of a sudden it's jumping three dollars, then down three dollars, and up four dollars. I know there's something wrong. I know there's something going on that maybe not. It's not in the news. Maybe it's insider trading. Maybe it's uh, somebody doing something, manipulating the stock for some reason. Then I can tell that hey, you know what? I either need to be really careful if I'm in a trade, or I just need to get out, wait till it calms down for a few days, and then I can get back in after the craziness is over with. But I won't know that unless I'm watching the stock on a regular basis. Um, I mean, if you're doing this, if you want to be this in this for the long term, you don't really need to spend that much time on it. Um, what I'm talking about is just you know. Where is the price going? You don't need to watch it every day even. You can just on a on a week to week basis, hey, how's this how's the stock doing? What happened? Did any news come out and what did it do? So um you know, if you want to start off, if you're just starting out and you want to limit yourself to five, maybe ten stocks, that'd be great. That's that's more than enough in the beginning. If you're only doing a couple of trades a month, if you're doing a lot more than that, then obviously you need to increase your universe you know i mean my wife wanted to know how to trade options and i've been teaching her and one of the first things i told her to do was go through the s p 500 just go through every single s p 500 look and find some companies that you like that you know about that you've heard about that are optionable that are good liquid that have good premium on their options and that have good charts that you like so if you're look, you know if your tendency is to sell credit spreads on stocks that are just going up look for stocks that are, are moving in an uptrend if you want to sell um on stocks that are, are in a range then look for those types of stocks and um you know, that's what she, that was one of the first things I told her to do. And if and if you want to know, you know, what I think you should do, you should do something similar to that. Now, I don't know if you need to go through all 500. Maybe you can just, you know, go through a few less. But that's that's my personal philosophy. Now, okay, so here's the tool that I'm talking about. Um, the website is called finviz.com, F-I-N-V-I-Z.com, uh, and it's totally free. 
you don't need to pay anything I just typed it into my browser and up it came it's been like this for a while I hope they don't uh, start charging for it but um, it has a ton of information about all different types of stocks and it's very current it's up to date and uh, I mean there's a lot of stuff on here I don't even know most of the stuff on here um, I use it for a few things but we probably use it for a lot more if you actually spend some time looking at it so over here we have um, today's advancing versus declines new highs versus new lows above 50 day moving average below the average etc etc um, and then this is just a list of some of the companies that it's that are active today and the top gainers new highs new lows overbought unusual volume upgrades earnings insider buying so as you can see i mean there are different lots of different categories here and there are lots of different uh, trading ideas that you can come from from just just this website so what i like to look at when we're looking at option selling opportunities is uh, down here for these technicals uh the technical information and basically this is this is a list of stocks that uh, have some upside trend line support some down trend line support wedges triangles channels up down sideways multiple bottoms multiple tops and shoulders any of these so um let's say yeah and see so here's a head and shoulders if you want all the head and shoulders you just click on here or you can just look at individual so according to this uh, chart the CBB is in a head and shoulders pattern um, this one is also in a head and shoulders pattern and actually shows you left right and the head uh, this is another one this is another one and then if you want all of them you just click here so um, when I'm looking for stocks that um, I want to trade um, like for example if I want to do credit spreads then I might look at something like uh, the channel up or maybe the trend line support. So um, let's go and look into channel up. So now these are companies or charts that uh, are trending upwards and they're going up and down. So this is one Oxford Industries. And as you can see, it's uh, been trending back since June. Um, very good support here, very nice support line, multiple support, multiple expand over here. So, um, you know, if you look at this chart, technically what you can see is probably going to bounce off the top here, come back down into the channel. And if it does that, then this would be a great opportunity to sell some calls, um, you know, maybe at the 45 or, or higher if you can. And uh, there might be a good trade right there. So um, now I don't know if these are, are optionable. And I'm sure there's a way to screen them so that you can only see the optional ones. But um, this is what pulled up in this channel up section, channel up signal actually, and you can change the signals from any of these. These are all the ones you can you can look at. So now what else we have? We have uh, this is a uh, municipal securities fund, and as you can see, it's doing very well. So um, you know, if I see a chart like this on a stock then I'm most likely to sell some puts on it because it's it's a very nice uptrend. Um, here's a stock, Dominion Resources. As you can see, it's been trending upwards for a while. And now the last, yeah, last few days um, since December, it seems to be going sideways. Mm, but it hasn't broken its support or its uh, channel yet. So this might be good for maybe an iron condor even or a butterfly because it's moving up in a, in a, in a steady fashion. It's not going crazy. So um, here we have another one. Uh, this is another bond fund, municipal bond fund. These munis seem to be doing well. <laughs> um, but you're saying you're showing here is a double top. So if you, you know if you know what to do with a double top, then you can do something there. Here's another one. There's another bond fund. There's another in, uh, muni. Um, and then these are. I mean, this will show you stocks. It'll show you ETFs, uh, mutual funds as well. It doesn't show the indexes, but um, we're just looking for ideas here. Um, this is a nice. That's another muni. That's another muni. Muni. Oh. Okay, well then there, there's a couple more pages, so let's see what else is out there in the channel up, see if we can find a good stock here. Um, nope, nope. Munis, I think we need to go start buying some munis. These are all doing very well.
Okay, so here is a utility. Um, and I think if you click on it, you'll get more details. Yeah, so this is uh, Consolidated Edison. It's a utility, Con Ed. I think it's in New York. Um, as you can see, it's been trending upwards for a while. It should have a pretty decent dividend. Yeah, 4% dividend. Um, pretty good stable stock. This would be a really good stock to sell options on condors, butterflies, calendars, etc. I think um, you can even do credit spreads on the put side here. Um, and you should be fine. This would be a really good stock right now to do it. And I'm not advising you to do it. I am just helping you f look for ideas. Um, you know, do you trade at your own risk? I'm not advising you to do this. I'm not about to put a trade on here. So I advise you. Uh, if you're going to do it, uh, if you like this particular stock or any of the ones that we've already looked at uh, or anything you find on Finviz, you know, do paper trade. Um, get to know it. Uh, feel feel more confident with the trade and then um, do it. But that that's the tool. Um, and as you can see, there are, there are lots of other things as well. There's the new high list, which I also like uh, for finding credit spreads. There's a new low list. Um, insider buying if you're into that that would be a good one to know and they give you reports of uh, who's buying and what so for example uh, down here uh wilbur ross who's a whale uh he's buying in ago so he bought a few days ago 22 million dollars worth of stock so that uh and then the day after he he bought five million more so um that gives you a good indication of what some people are doing um, as you can see here, uh, Sergey from Google, he sold $52 million worth of stock. Now, I don't know, you can't, uh, you know, if you know how to do insider trading, then, then you can play with these numbers. But, um, there, like they say, there are many reasons that people sell stock insiders, but there's only a, one reason why they buy, and that's because they think it's going up. Um, so take that for what it's worth. Get a little chart here if you like these types of things so you know um you know how everything is broken down and who's moving and whatnot as you can see today there's only um there's only one little green spot right here so that would be i can't really see it but um if you know how to i mean there's so many tools here that you could take a look at spend a whole bunch of time on and this is one of the tools that i use it's a free tool and uh make the best of it happy trading